the God of peace, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The angels of God guard us through the night and quiet the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take our rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts, even while they sleep. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being. All that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you. In the very secret of our hearts, you know all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Amen. From Psalm 42. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night. Well, all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things. How I went with the multitude, 
and led them into the house of God. With a voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. The Lord grants his loving kindness in the daytime. In the night season, his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. I pray that, according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being, with power through his Spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth and love. Keep us, O God, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, waking and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Preserve us, O God, waking and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Come, O Spirit of God, 
and make within us your dwelling place and home. May our darkness be dispelled by your light and our troubles calmed by your peace. May all evils be redeemed by your love, all pain transformed through the suffering of Christ, and all dying glorified by his risen life. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the earth which nurtures us and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O God, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell within to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest, for it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.